Hello guys, my name is Distrex Prime. Um, welcome to my studio, I guess. Um, I am going to show you guys today how to make a proper up-tempo hardcore kick. Uh, just using two plugins. One plugin you already most likely have, which is Citrus, and the other one is uh, the Filter Bank 3 from Tone 2. I really like that, like that plugin. It's a great one, definitely worth buying it. So what we're going to start off with here is we are going to add a channel which will be Citrus, of course. Now, let me just open up a small rhythm here. By default, Citrus has this stringy kind of sound, which kind of tells you what the hell are you looking here for uh, a hardcore kick? But it's a really cool plugin. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put it to default. We're gonna take the preset default. So we just have one oscillator. And we're gonna play with the pitch envelope here. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put it on tempo. This enables it and it also locks it to the tempo. So. it to the tempo then you can make your awesome kick and it sounds great and things but once you change the BPM it goes to shit so make sure you open a you use that tempo one there uh, another thing which is important the first thing is we want to get rid of this release I'll show you the difference here put this one to 180 and this is with the release Now when I re remove it, that's what we want, it cuts out the sound, so that's very important. And then of course we don't want it to have this stupid sound, so we're going to move the attack all the way to the left, so we're, re uh, we're stuck with this sound. What you want to do then is drag this one all the way down, somewhere around here, so that the pitch starts off high and then drops all the way down and this kind of gives, gives the kick sound it's not ready here it for me there you should play with this one a little bit to make it snappier or something like this so yeah now we have this basic pitch shot up here and then what we do is we go to the multiplier and put it on one so now it's lower and then an important one here is the pitch envelope which we want to turn all the way up. Now we have this nice old school Thunderdome kick already. It's kind of sound like the 808. Um, but what I want to show you guys, uh, I'll open up the equalizer here. Uh, sorry, I have to assign this one to a channel first. Uh, where is it? Right here. I press Ctrl L to open up a new free mixer channel. By this, but I prefer pressing Control Alt, and then open up the equalizer here. As you can see, the tones are around 50, 60 hertz, 70 hertz, which might sound good and sounds good on my headphones. But when you listen it on a big setup, it sounds like crap. You're basically missing the whole bunch of subwoofers. So what you want to do is get the kick around 30, 40 hertz as well. This really gives like the, the hard punch from the subwoofer and that is important for this kind of music. So we usually take this one and drag it a bit to the right. Now, people who have good speakers will already hear it. This really kicks your sub. So um, now we have this basic tone here. What I like to do is fiddle around with these settings here to make it sound the way I want.
soundier, but it's just not cutting it. So what we want to do is add the most important one, which is the filter bank 3 FX filter. Now when it starts off, um, it's filled with crap and it sounds like this. What we want to do is take this one and press the reset button here. So we're on the default settings. And then what I like to add is uh, another filter, high pass filter. I usually use the low pass filter in here for uh, the low kick sub thingy. And I use this one to make the kick really punchy. So usually turn up the quantity or resonance or quality or whatever up a notch. And oh, don't forget to make the routing filter one plus two. <coughs> You see we have this little spike here and that one is what will give the kick our little crunch. Too hard is crappy, too low is crappy. So around here usually sounds great. Um, so yeah, what it sounds like now is something like this. is still not cutting it so the most important one here is the distortion plugin in the filter bank we take uh, the type and we put it on the tube amplifier and just listen to it as I turn up the drive this kind of setup um, yeah when bad thing is set it tends to hiss if the drive is too hard it kind of hisses I'm not sure if that is a bug or something but it's rather annoying but well uh, what you can do now is just turn on this one and play around with the knobs in the citrus here and you can create all kinds of nasty kits <laughs> To do is you take like this high pass filter and change it to a band pass filter. That also works fine. <laughs> take the low pass filter, turn it. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but still, who cares? Just mess around with it. <laughs> Get the 
idea. No. <clears throat> Just gonna reset this one here, low pass, high pass. What you can also do with this one is it's really easy to create your French core kicks by adding a, uh, I mean, cutting off the kick and adding a little tilt to it. So what we have now is our kick. <laughs> then do is we take this volume knob here, uh, the volume envelope, put it on tempo as well, make sure that we cut off the kick so it's short and snappy. <laughs> and then we open up a second channel, which I will just solo up for now. We're going to make a till on this one. So what we're going to do is put the volume on the tempo as well. and mute it from the start and then increase it like that. also make it low pitched um, pitch envelope is not working because we have disabled the pitch so what I usually do is Make it the same as the kick, something like that. Then it has a nice smooth low sound. Now when we combine these two, this one a little bit. Mess around with the volume. around these very nice for intros filtering that kind of stuff so what you can do is add another filter bank reset it make this one bypass the filters as well add in this Out. 
torches don't screw it up like I just did, but you get the idea. Sweet, so that's how you did that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you use these tricks to make anything, let me know in the description, comments, whatever. Or don't, I don't give a shit. Do whatever the fuck you want. Later.